Simon, we always like to find reasons to talk about machining centres. And you've just bought this Leadwell V50, and I know they're available in stock or from stock at Lead Precision Machine Tools. What is it you, you really like about this machine? Um, well, I, I've used Leadwells for a long time. I like the reliability of Leadwell, but about this machine in particular, I just love the envelope of it. Look at it, it's a large envelope inside the machine. It's got a lovely access to it. It's just a, a pleasure to work on. It's, it's, whether I can actually do what I want to do and why or not is not that important, as long as I can get the job in the machine. And a lot of machines are kind of only just about past their axis limits, you know, where this has got this just massive window to stick a job in. It's brilliant. I'm getting, I'm getting the vibes that you actually use it, do you? I, no, I'd love to be using it again, to be fair. I'd like some time on a shop floor. <laughs> no, but I mean, look, I, I saw this at the, sh at, 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 um, at the show. Uh, not this particular machine, but the, the next one down. And I like the look of it then, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then he said, oh, we'll have a look at the V50. It's bigger again, and I wanted a, a longer X and a bigger Y. Um, and that Y is important because people look at a Y axis and you've correctly said that you can have a huge Y axis but if, if the machine isn't bigger internally as well you're still quite restricted in what, what, what parts or plates you can get in but that's not the case here is not it? the case I mean I've got machines that are three meters in Y 800 in X but I can only just about get a meter job in it really and that's just about shut in the doors you know um, this is massive, look at it, it's lovely. I just need a bit of extra capacity, not necessarily to actually machine that size, but just to get the job inside, you know, so I can move things around and, and maybe move it, you know, and mill it there, do a jump and mill again, and have that capacity to move my job. Now, the machine itself, you've got a 12,000 RPM spindle, I believe, and a 30 tool change? That's right, it is. It's a fixed and taper spindle, um, 30 tools, yeah, 12,000 RPM. Stunning. Simon, what's interesting for me as well is behind me here we've got the Siemens control. You've got a lot of Lebwell machines in the machine shop that are predominantly running on FANUC controls. Why the change? Um, it's just because of the conversational side, the ease of use. Um, we had FANUC for, forever. Um, it's FANUC maybe on, on most of my machines. Uh, and there's a few on the conversational side of FANUC. But even, this, even that is still not as friendly as, as the Siemens. Siemens have just got a really friendly control. It's easy to use. A couple of hours on a Siemens anybody could be using it. Um, and I primarily add it for my tool, sh tool room because they're always doing just one-offs. Um, it's always difficult. It's never really set up for any production. So you want something quick to get it through the shop. You know, I don't want to be programming lots and lots of lines of information to do a one-off. Um, Siemens just fits the bill perfectly. And, and that's the shop mill because I know that FANUC have their manual guide system, which again is, is very popular. It's down to, I suppose, the individual yeah. choice. But interestingly for me, you, you've got both now. So you've got total flexibility on a programming element. Absolutely. I've, still, I've got both. I've got the eye guide. I've got the, it's, in terms of friendliness, though, I just can't find anything better than this. I think the shop mill side of it is just so intuitive. It draws it on a screen. I know, you know other things do as well, but it's just, all, it's just easy to use. Importantly to mention, you can get the Lebwell machines with Fanuc, Heidenhain and Siemens, which you've got Absolutely. here. I'd like to know a little bit more. We've looked at the machine, but, but why Lebwell? You've got a lot of Lebwell machines here, and, and quite, there's, there's quite a bit of history there too, isn't there, Simon? There's a bit of history. Um, I've got Leadwells. I've got seven out on my other shop. You've just seen a Takumi, which comes from Leadwell. Um, I've got this one now. It's my first brand new one for a while. Um, but that's not a bad thing, because although this is my first brand new one, I've got machines out there that are... 20, 30 years old, and I've seen a Leadwell engineer in my shop once in that time. And that makes a massive difference to me. That does, that does. That, 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 well, that just says reliability, ongoing and longevity. Actually, really. I'll say twice because I've just had one in installing this. That's the only time I've ever had an, a, a Leadwell engineer in my shop for years now, I'll tell him. And then someone might question you when you, when you say that about, well, what are you doing with the machines? But are you, are you still challenging them? Are you cutting oh. difficult materials on them day Absolutely. in, day out? They do anything. One minute they're doing aluminium, the next minute they're doing copper. I do stainlesses, we do inconels, monols. I do anything and everything. They do it all, um, you know. And looking around the machine shop, there is a lot of versatility in what you do. We can see here you, you've got kind of like an arm component, but you're doing plate work, a real varied mix of parts. There's not one thing I do. I work for any industry. Uh, that's a railway part you see in, in front of you there, of S355 material. It's not particularly hard, but nevertheless, it needs, it needs a bit of work to into it. Um, you know, he was doing aluminium yesterday. It, it, it can, I can do anything. And did you like the fact that these machines are readily available in stock? I mean, specifically this V50L. It was another reason why I chose this one. I had to wait a little bit longer for this one because I wanted a Siemens. And if I wanted a Fanuc, I could have had it within a week. 
I mean, that's amazing, you know, that's, that's really good. Spec'd up highly as well through spindle coolant, high speed spindle. All of it on it. If I wanted to spec this, it would be exactly as it is. I, um, it was just perfect. This has come out of the Italian stock, um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Good stuff. Thank you, Simon. No problem. Thank you, Gun.